Hey everybody, thank you so much for coming out. It's such a beautiful evening. Thank you for sharing it with us. We are the Sugarloaf String Band. We play traditional cowboy tunes from the 18 and 1900s, as well as some country western. Uh, are you all ready to go on a cattle drive with us? We're going to take you back west, back in time to the golden years of the cowboy era. Are you ready to put in an 18-hour day, hard, dangerous work? and uh, you're herding 2,000 head of ornery Longhorn Texas cows up to Montana, and after four months, you're gonna get $40. Isn't that awesome? All right, so we're gonna do a medley of songs here for you. Don't fence me in, back in the saddle, turkey in the straw. So everybody, sit tall in the saddle. Please, don't squat with your spurs on.
Okay, so riding the range once more. Yes, the cowboys love the wide open prairie. Now, Suzanne, do you know what they call a retired cowboy? No, Becky, what do they call a retired cowboy? Deranged. I know. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, this is a free concert. When you have to pay for your ticket, the jokes are way better, and so is the music. <laughs> so, cowboys. Cowboys called their horses. That was too loud. I moved too loud. Really moved it. Let's see what you mean. Technical difficulties, sorry. Okay. So, cowboys called their horses Cayuse, Old Paint, Old Dan, Fiery, Snuffy, my personal favorite, Heyburner. And the cattle were called Critters and Doggies. They also used colorful terms for roping techniques, such as throwing a hula hand which means lassoing a horse, cow by the horns while sitting on top of your horse. So you're going to hear some of these words in our next song, I Ride an Old Paint. Robert's going to lead us off on harmonica. things that could happen on a cattle drive was a, a stampede and um, cattle are really nervous animals it wouldn't take much to get them running a sound of thunder or a rattlesnake or a horse shaking its reins and the only hope the cowboys had to stop it would be to gallop as fast as they could to get to the front of the herd get it to turn and mill around in a circle so this song is written by Stan Jones, and it's, it's about a stampede, but it's no ordinary herd of cattle. It's, it's a ghost herd, and the riders, the cowboys are ghost riders.
we go into schools and we do a whole presentation about the cowboy era, and that's the kids' favorite song, the Ghost Rider song. Um, next is cool water. Um, one of the most important things to do after driving cattle for 10, 12 miles a day would be to find water. So uh, this song was written by Bob Nolan in 1936 about a man and his mule named Dan and a mirage in the desert. story about Paul because this is a true story isn't it Paul <laughs> yes Paul was sitting in Jerry's one day having breakfast and the door swung open and in walked this guy with a big 10 gallon hat on and fancy boots and spurs and a belt with a big old silver buckle and he sat right next to, to Paul and Paul's so friendly he goes hi he says you must you must be a cowboy the man nodded his head and he said what's your name Tex he says, oh, you must be from Texas. Nope, from Louisiana. Well, why do they call you Tex? Well, I don't want to be called Louise now, do I? <laughs> <laughs> so this next song is called The Texas Cowboy. And it's a complaint, but it's done in a very cheerful way. Can 
get my spurs on. Yep, don't swallow them. No, don't swallow them. Wait a minute, it's not on right. Yeah. Ready? drive, most of the cowboys would, would go into town and to spend all of their money and um, on a new pair of clothes, food to eat, they'd go to the gambling halls. And um, this next song is called The Streets of Laredo. This song actually has hundreds of verses. Luckily for you tonight, we're going to do all of them. <laughs> for free. <laughs> One of my favorite versions of this was by the Smothers Brothers, you might know this. It's um, I see by your outfit that you are a cowboy. You see by my outfit that I'm a cowboy too. You see by our outfits that we are both cowboys. If you buy an outfit, you can be a cowboy too. So this is uh, the streets of Laredo and Paul and Suzanne are gonna take the lead on this.
drive for a while and we're going to do some country western tunes for you. Now the next two songs are by Hank Williams. He recorded 35 singles that reached the top 10 of the Billboard country western and 11 of those were number ones and poor Hank Williams he was only 29 when he died of heart failure. So I know a young guy wrote so much music. So here's Why Don't You Love Me. Why don't you? Oh. We won't get into that. Okay. Forget about that train. <laughs> Mystery train. <laughs>
Next is Honky Tonk Blues. Are you ready to go honky tonking? Honky Tonk. Okay, let's go. crying in the rain and Willie Nelson made that famous a lot of people think he wrote it but it was actually Fred Rose Fred Rose wrote a lot of music with Gene Autry and with Hank Williams as well so I kind of thought well let's see what else he wrote he wrote thanks for the heartaches hen pecked Sam and I hope my divorce is fast <laughs> so um, yeah we're not gonna play those tonight but we're gonna do blue, blue eyes crying in the rain
Suzanne has a joke for you. What do you call a cow that's given birth? Decaffeinated. <laughs> that went over real well. <clears throat> The train like <laughs> We're gonna let the train go by, which is quite appropriate. <laughs> dueling, dueling yes. trains. gonna guess what song we're gonna do next. <coughs> Folsom Prison. <laughs> I hear the train coming. <laughs> take this time to again thank the Tilton Library and also thank all of you for coming out tonight and um, before we do I want to introduce our band members down here on the fiddle bass fiddle is is Paul cowboy cowboy it's all about the bass Paul and uh, next to me playing banjo lately bear just about every ukulele they make is cow gal red kicker Robin and to my right Giving us those harmonies and playing a ukulele is Cow Gal Thunder in a Can, Suzanne. And that gentleman in the black cat 
playing the harmonica, the Celtic drum, and the low whistle. And um, we're not playing the fiddle tonight, but he plays the fiddle as well. And what what do you not play, Robert? I mean, you play everything. Is is Cowboy Roby Bones? And from the Rhythm Nation, the Sagebrush Sage himself, Cowboy Dave. And, and this here is our trail boss without a hoss, Becky the Kid. Uh, very simple that remark. So we're going to do um, a little medley here for you, and I think you're going to recognize these songs. There's two songs. So. why do you sing cowboy songs? And I say, well, it's because I'm from out west, western Massachusetts. And so it makes absolutely perfect sense that the next song I sing or we sing is about Texas. 